we wanted to also go through a thorough physical exam, and I'm going to ask uh, the owner of this kitty cat uh, if they have any, any health concerns. So that's where we're going to start. Uh, we want to go ahead and have a good look at your cat. I think I actually put your kitty cat to sleep here by uh, putting him in there and talking so quietly. But what we're going to do is bring your kitty cat out and have a little bit of an exam. Now, do you have any uh, particular concerns about your cat's health? As you mentioned, the upper respiratory would be my main concern. Have you seen any problems with that? Have you seen your cat, kitty cat uh, uh, do any sneezing or no. watering from the eyes or anything? No. Okay. Well, we're going to go through just a few things while we look at your kitty cat. You know, it's very important, I think, at this age to try and do some little training with your cat and let it be used to being handled. Uh, and uh, with a little bit of luck, you'll learn how to brush their teeth, uh, take care of their nails, and things like that. But we're going to do a thorough physical exam uh, now and look your kitty cat all over. Uh, unfortunately, your cat now is so small it doesn't even move our scale. So that means she's she's lighter. I'm sorry, he's lighter than uh, three pounds. So um, it's just a kind of a small kitty. Probably next time in about a month when you come in, we'll be able to get a more accurate weight. So we start looking at their uh, eyes first, and everything's clear in the eyes. Uh, we look like to look in the ear. Uh, and the eyes and be sure that there isn't any ear mites. Cats uh, frequently get some ear mites and they're perfectly clear. I'm not seeing any problems there. And again, this is all part of the stuff that might be good for you to do at home is to hold under the ear and touch the kitty cat all over and it makes it less traumatic when we have to have a look at them during the exam. We like to be sure that their eyes are clear and there is just a little bit of discharge coming from this cat's eye. Uh, you can see right in the corner here and so one of those things that you're going to watch, want to watch for is to be sure that you don't get a lot of discharge from this cat's eye uh, or any sneezing. If that happens, you should give me a call. Now these are all baby teeth. You can see uh, that we don't have any adult teeth yet because we're so young. And we open them up and look all the way down in there. And they, they kind of think that's kind of a mean thing to do at first, but they get used to it. And everything looks normal. Now all of those teeth uh, that you see there are going to fall out. We get a whole new set of teeth, and those are all baby teeth. And by the time your cat is six months of age, there won't be any baby teeth left, only adult teeth. So we're going to listen to the heart. The kitty's purring a lot, so it's hard to hear the heart. Here we go. And the lungs are fine. Everything's clear. And you just want to play, don't you? Huh? You want to go ahead and look on the underside, too, and be sure that there's no particular problems with your cat. Uh, there's no hernia, and both of the testicles have come down, so uh, we're in great shape.